<clears throat> Hello everyone and uh, today I'm going to update you for the month of July on my um, orchids in spike and bloom. I haven't got that many as you can see but the most important ones are these two species file that I wanted to give you an update. This lovely one is the <coughs> uh, Phalaenopsis Violacea, if, if you can. Oh, yeah. um, as you can see, it's a nice uh, magenta color. It just opened up yesterday, so it's quite fresh. And I think they they even grow once they've uh, opened up kinds of getting bigger a little bit tiny bit more but the fragrance hasn't come yet I think it takes few days um, especially in the, when the sun lights on it it has a lovely uh, fragrance so this is my uh, Phalaenopsis violacea species Phalaenopsis species um, Phalaenopsis violacea I just bought it and it's just a bit bad but has a very short spike as you can see which is a uh, typical for um, species and it has lovely bloom at the end and uh, there's probably one or two more coming up in over the summer because there are some summer bloomers and they bloom in summer, grow buds and bloom in summer. It's a really lovely and easy one to grow. I mean, every time I buy Phalaenopsis bellina, it just gets like infected, root rot, crown rot or anything and dies. But this one, I've had it for two years now. And it's just nice and growing so nicely new leaf as you can see and it had uh, one spike dried and uh, currently has two spikes and one more I think coming up somewhere so the other day so it's a nice one to a species if you want to start with species and uh, this is a nice and easy one to start Next Phalaenopsis species that I have is this little one, Phalaenopsis modesta. The bloom is tinier than the Violacea and uh, the, the spikes, um, if you can see, it's very short and it was actually growing into the media and at first I thought it's a root, but then um, one day I saw that there are some little tiny bits on top. And I thought, oh, maybe this is a <coughs> flower spike. So I put it a little bit higher and put some of the, this bark underneath uh, the spike. And then a few weeks later I saw a bud forming. And I was so happy to see the bud forming. And then finally it bloomed. Lovely, uh, nice little bloom. It has lovely fragrance, uh, jasmine-like fragrance. It's not that strong, if you, but if you put your nose near it, it's it's really nice, nice, nice um, fragrance. So it's got this this spike that has bloomed. And it hit, it is growing the the other spike on the other way, and it's doing the same. It was going through the the media, but I put something underneath to come a little bit higher. So I think because they they naturally grew in wild uh, on the tree or something, so they they lean like this. So the spike just grows. Um, going towards the leaves uh, or even underneath the leaves 
so that's why we have to be careful when the spikes coming so uh, yeah just wanted to show you this one nice little it's, it's uh, smaller than uh, than other uh, species I think because if, if you compare it with Violacea, Violacea is so big bigger leaves bigger bloom Modesta is a smaller leaves and a smaller bloom. Next I have this Phalaenopsis um, hybrid, complex hybrid. Uh, it's a lovely yellow color. It's the color of sunshine. I really love the color on this one and really cheery, especially in dull day like today. It's really cheery, and um, yeah, uh, it's just a just a gift. Um, next one, I have my other gift from <laughs> for my bed. You know, my birthday gift. This one, this finals is still in bloom, still some parts going on. I mean, this thing was in bloom since April, so a few months. Next I have this this little almost mini fall yellow again. It's a lovely uh, lemony color, lemon, yellowish lemon, and um, lemonish yellow I should say, <laughs> lemonish yellow uh, color. Sorry, it's early morning. Um, next I have um, this uh, lovely Cat, mini Cattleya called um, BLC Husky Boy Romeo. I bought this thing uh, from London Show um, two years ago, and I think it's. I mean, if you can see, every growth had bloomed. So I think this is a really good uh, hybrid if you could find that anywhere. And you know it grows a new growth every year. I think it's one or maybe two. I I haven't had it that long to see if if that if it could do two growths, but it grows a new growth, and then it blooms and it's just a reliable bloomer. So I've got three buds to go, and they're gonna open any time, like maybe within a day or two. They're lovely yellow with the magenta lip so I r highly recommend this um, mini Cattleya if you could find it anywhere BLC Husky Boy Romeo I saw this first in uh, um, what was her name? she's not doing it anymore um, I forgot one of the YouTubers that she's not doing any any more uh, YouTube videos. Um, she had this one, and then when I saw it in in London show, I bought it, and it's really nice, nice hybrid. I really recommend it. Next one I have this uh, Oncidium intergeneric on spike. It's a small spike, but I'm hoping just to grow bigger and longer. It's a winter wonderland, um, Oncidium winter wonderland, named uh, hybrid, uh, which has a big blousy uh, white blooms with the spickles on it, and, uh, and it's really nice, nice bloom. I like it, and a little tiny bit of a fragrance. So and it's. Again, this one is a really reliable bloomer. Every year it grows a new growth. And once the pseudobulb is matured, then it grows a bulb, uh, a spike, sorry, spike for, for me. So it's really good uh, hybrid if you could find it. And it's not like rare or anything. You can find it easily in, in garden centers. Sometimes they have, it's got really long leaves. But yeah, that that's um, my hybrid, my um, sorry <laughs> update uh, for the month of July, 
and I hope you liked it, enjoyed it and um, my other orchids are just growing new growths and some of them are going to the to the roof just growing new growths new roots and they're happily producing <laughs> lots of leaves <laughs> without any flower for me <laughs> so yeah thank you very much for watching my bloom update for the month of July and I hope you enjoyed my tiny update and if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe thank you for watching